Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the... the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. That guy sounds like James Earl Jones. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Thank you to the over 7,000 members of the Mutant League whose commitment support, blah, blah. No, 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 that no, 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 $6,000. $600,000. Tex is back. So the, this was an original series of games, the Tex Murphy Adventures. Oh, really? In like the 90s. And they brought it back with this game. So Tex Murphy is a series of games created by Chris Jones. And Tex Murphy is always played by Chris Jones himself. Did they get Chris Jones? What? Did they get Chris Jones? Yeah. He, no, he's the guy that makes the games. Oh! This is cool. This is not... This is... Yeah. 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 I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, this was recommended to us by a fan. I honestly don't know who because I don't know if the person who uh, recommended it was anonymous. We get a lot of, like, anonymous recommendations and stuff like that. But if you are watching this, thank you so much for recommending it. We are really excited to play. Do you know that Tesla wasn't actually an underappreciated scientist? Yes. That's just part of his mythos. And everyone, including my boyfriend's like, no, everyone underappreciated him. I was like, he was he, actually very appreciated. <laughs> he like had like sold out conferences, his own business, like enough money to throw away on like things that he just wanted to do. Yeah. And it's everything's based off this book his best friend made just because he wanted people to be like, no, he died a papa and a virgin and shamed. And it's like, that wasn't actually true. <laughs> None of that was true. Like, San Francisco, 2050. My Murphy. I'm a small time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. My office isn't in the glamour districts. It's in the rundown, the mutant part of the city, close to Coit Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. This is awesome. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a P.I. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. A man better than the world around him. Oh. My. Fire. God. This is so cool! This is awesome. This is the most awesome thing ever. Everything's so shiny. Yeah. Definitely. I'm in. Definitely. So I guess these are based, this is based on a book by Aaron Connor. I think that's the name I just saw. And then it's adapted by Chris Jones. So. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is great. Yay, I'm so excited! <laughs> How big is this city? Is this whole planet a city? It's, are we on Earth? It's San Francisco. <laughs> Oh, okay. They said that at the very beginning. I was too blown away by the shiny. Even shinies. a set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving it empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. Oh, look at our car! <laughs> so great. There was a time when I would have never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this. But maybe 
Judas would understand. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Holy shit, that door is CG! <laughs> oh my god! Did you see that it just said PI and dance instructor? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the door the door is CGI? <laughs> I love this! This is so funny! Five, Five hours, hours later. later. Drag him into the speeder. Look, 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 the top window. Oh no. I think we got him. Let's get out of here. Day one. A rude awakening. Or the seven year ouch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just. Yeah. Are we in a... Are we on a porch or a cell? Do you know what the seven year itch is? No. It's when a man's been... About marriage, right? Hey you, over here! Is the seven year itch is when a guy's like, can't resist his urge to cheat on his wife. Finally! You know? What was all that commotion outside, anyway? Howza! You really got a hit on the head. Remember me? Your old pal, Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Jeez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, smart version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Yes. Yeah, probably. Activating tutorial mode. Let's begin. Welcome to the Smart Alex interface. This is where the magic happens. This button takes you to your inventory. Items you pick up along the way can be viewed and used from here. To take a closer look at an item, select it and then click the examine icon. The examine feature often gives clues about the object. This is your map, where you can view your current location or warp to other locales. This icon is our handy dandy built-in hint system. It will list tasks for each location. This is your flashlight. If you are in a particularly dark environment, you can turn on this flashlight to help you out. If you're playing in casual mode, when the beam of light from the flashlight shines on an object that needs to be picked up, the object will sparkle. This is the look icon. If you want to look at an object without interacting with it, press this icon. Yeah, more furniture I don't recognize. The Use icon allows you to interact with an object in the environment. The Smart Alex icon will flash in the corner, confirming an item has been picked up and placed in the inventory. To exit out of the Smart Alex game interface, click on the giant X in the middle. Let's start by picking up an item to add to the inventory. Walk over to the corner shelf and pick up the broken record. Oh, man. My Gene Autry record's broken in two. Now let's take a look at this new addition in your inventory. Return to the Smart Alex interface and click on the inventory icon. Look, the broken record. Examine the broken record to hear a clue about what to do with it. I'll need some glue to repair this broken record. Exit your inventory by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Well, let's try picking up another inventory item. Navigate to the desk and pick up the bottle of glue. It's a bottle of stupid glue. Now open your inventory again. You now have both the broken record and the bottle of glue. Let's try combining your two inventory items. Select the broken record and drag it to one of the combination slots below. Now select the glue and drag it to the other combination slot. I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. Success! You have now created a vinyl record. Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my one stability in this crazy world. 
Try using the vinyl record on your Victrola player in your office. To use an inventory item, simply point at the target, open the inventory, select an item, and then press the Use icon. I close my eyes Ah, Gene Autry, the singing cowboy. Nice choice of music. One more thing. To access the pause menu, simply hit Escape. From here, you can save your game, access the main menu, explore the help section, or quit the game. Yep, that's all there is to it. Now let's get back to your actual case. Wow, that was pretty thorough and well explained. You have a fax. You have a fax. What's that sound? I don't know. I wonder if I can use... You have a fax. You have a fax. Hmm. Okay, so the controller is not an option. No. No. You have a fax. You have a fax. You have a fax. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. Where's the fax machine? You have a fax. Oh. You have a fax. Oh boy. A fax. Oh boy. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently, he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. So, we dropped a bunch of money on the floor? We're not going to pick that up? What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, it probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. Oh, that's his. He got hit in the head and he doesn't remember what happened. Yeah. How many hats do you need? Hey, they're cool hats. <laughs> it's a total Looks like jinx somebody's hat. Somebody's wiped my computer clean. Huh, so he got hit in the head and he can't remember the terrible thing he was going to do. Oh man, this record's broken in two. Blue's always useful. So, combine them together. Mm-hmm. you Hey, it Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we don't remember anything... Yeah, you're right, because he had that suitcase, right? Yeah. I close my eyes and dream of one. The one I Arthur Murphy School of Dance. Arthur Murphy School of Dance. Oh, huh. Maybe Arthur. Are we Tex? Are we Arthur? Hmm. No messages or... on the vid phone. We'll figure it out eventually. But yeah, we'll Enigma. get there. Enigma. <laughs> Sounds like the story of my life. Enigma. Why would I be researching this? Well, this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. An article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history? Well, this happened on my first case. I was in the shootout of my life at the warehouse district. Oh, oh this is for, okay. I took a bullet, and while I was recovering, I swore I was always going to use my brains before brawn. Ah, the colonel. He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. <laughs> he looks pissed as hell. Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever, betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them! I always get the chill of fear down my spine whenever I think of him. <laughs> looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. It's my Gene Autry fake book. Whenever I'm feeling low, I can sing the songs of my hero. Right, okay. The Maltese Falcon. I don't remember picking up this little souvenir. How long was I knocked out? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. My Richie Haven signature guitar signature disappeared. That'll teach me to get an autograph with a dry erase marker. Oh, that's 
sucks. One of my golf partners. Old bogey, we call him. Bart something. These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. You have to pay a fee. <laughs> These are my okay, credentials. Got it, got it. They don't just give this. When things get slow in the detective business, I've always been able to fall back on my skills as a dance instructor. <laughs> my friend Louie runs the Bruin Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. Ooh, sounds good. Well, it's another Mike and I Cammer candy comic, Key Lime Largo. I'll put this in my comic book rack. Oh, I guess, uh, whatever. Are, oh, are we putting things away as we're clicking on them? Well, I sure don't remember how these holes got in the wall. Huh. They look fairly recent, judging from the debris. Who would have done this? And why? Hmm. On Saturday nights, I push the furniture to the walls and cut loose on the dance floor. Uh, okay. Is this the Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> <laughs> it sure looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's like, I wonder what this is. I'm just never going to open it. Whoa. I've never seen this much money in my life. It would help. If this is my money, what were they paying me for? But you got to open it. I don't, I don't, whatever. No, that's what the money's in there. Footrest. Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years back. But I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. Warehouse sale years it back. It makes perfect sense within the canon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember years ago I was finishing up the latest Mike and Ike Candy Kids adventure and I realized I devoured several chapters and it wasn't agreeing with me. I could feel my stomach churning like a volcano, and I realized I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. Oh, what the, I'll get you, Miffy, if he's the last thing I do. Yeah, it's kind of been a sore spot in our relationship ever since. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I certainly don't remember this piece of furniture. Looks like a genuine antique instead of something I normally get at a white elephant sale. Yeah, not many people wake up from blackouts with new furniture. Oh, is this oh. new furniture? This is a very sexy bed. I really like this What's bed. up with the bed? Looks like it's for a Lothario instead of some hard-working down-on-his-luck P.I. Am I going crazy here? Whoa! Look yeah. at the ceiling. Yeah. This, you like this bed? If you came home to someone's house and they are like, Hey, check it out. This is my bed. I would think it was a little... It's like, see, the weird thing is, is that, like, sometimes... Like, when I like things, like, I know they're over the top, and if I saw somebody else with it, I'd be like, really? But if I had it myself, I'd be like, this is cool. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, like yeah. I see motorcycles yeah. with, like, the crazy, like, painted tanks, and I'm like, that's really cool. But, like, I see somebody else with it, and I'm like, come on. You My know? sexist thought is that if, like, a woman had this, I'd be like, yeah, okay. But if a guy had it, I'd be like, no. Yeah. No, that's not okay. <laughs> it's totally sexist of me, though. I, yeah. Uh, that was for my first jackalope hunt. Yeah, but you know what? If you're a guy and you want to have, you know what? This actually looks comfortable. Look how big the blanket is. I know. You know what? I, so, and I used to have a comforter that was like that, that was like a black fabric on the back, and then that was like a fuzzy fabric. My so I take back what I said. It looks super comfortable, and I was being judgmental. I want this blanket. <laughs> <laughs> when I was um, so after my parents got divorced, I, I had like you know different bedrooms at my mom's and dad's house, uh -huh. and my bedroom at my mom's house like re I redecorated the whole thing, and it was like a jungle theme. Mm -hmm. So I had one of those rugs that's like it's a rug, but it looks like an, like a leopard pelt. Oh yeah, it, it was floor. fake. Everyone fake completely fake like was very clearly a rug yeah <laughs> did not have a head um and like i had the like leopard bed spread and all that stuff and i had like yeah, san francisco looks way different now okay continue had masks on the walls and stuff like that it was cool and it's a sitting room good for sitting so does he mean to say that like he he doesn't is... remember well i had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. What? Where does it... Oh, does it go to, the, like, the other sections of the house? Maybe? Oh, maybe it goes outside. 
Oh. Um, maybe he doesn't remember. Oh, see all the comics on the comic book rack? Yeah. So I bet we can find them in different places. He remembers being completely broke. And so he's waking up and he's seeing all this stuff that he bought. And he's like, the fuck? Yeah. Basically. The door to my back storage room is locked. That's strange. Oh, dead bodies in there. For sure. But he remembers getting the Ark of the Covenant. I really like the Ark of the... I like, <laughs> I like this. I don't know why. It reminds me of, you know, adventures. Adventures that you've had. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, look at that. That must be for dancing. What? Well, I sure don't remember how these holes got in the wall. They look fairly recent, judging from the debris. Who would have done this? What? Yeah, he must have made the custodial staff really, really angry. Water? My indispensable water cooler still doesn't have paper cups. Yeah, more furniture I don't recognize. Hmm. Should we head out? Yeah. So, it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Wow, you're really, like, wow, you have no idea what's going on. Oh, blood. Oh, no. I can't click the blood, though. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite is like that me. Comic, is that a record or a comic book? This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronic shop. Who's over there spying on me? Ah. Whoa, it's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me from the top floor of the electronic shop. Who is that? Where's he shooting from? Look, look, look! The top window! I just shut out our headlight! I remember speeder headlights coming down the alleyway. Where is he? He's up at the window. I think we got him. Someone was shooting from the top of the electronic shop. Oh, we're having flashbacks. Wait, so go to the dumpster. The dumpster... Or... Just click on all the stuff. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower. A Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. He's injected himself. I don't care! Drag him into the speeder! I think someone was getting abducted. Well, looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. Thank God. Thank goodness for the dumpster. Look how huge this beer can is. Motor oil, the oh. secret ingredient to Louis Armageddon blend. <laughs> Louis usually up at this time. I should ask him if he heard anything. Oh, no, no, no. It's not motor oil. It's motor oil is the secret to Louis Armageddon bl blend. Oh. So it is a beer. If you're drinking, no it. one knows these back alleys of Chandler. Ew, quite like don't me. drink motor oil. If, That's not like, in case you're a teenager being like, oh, is that a hot tip of how to get more messed up? It's not. It's a joke. It's a, he's joking. He's not for real. You don't have to explain jokes. Another Mike and Ike hammer. Candy cane confidential. No, you probably do. Yeah, like probably don't you remember being yeah. like a teenager being like, oh, that gets you more messed up, my little Coca Cola. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Like you know. And there's always like teenagers who drink antifreeze. Uh, it's a Mike and, and I candy ah! comic, ah! Citizen Candy Cane. Just in case you guys are wondering, no, you can't get drunk off antifreeze. Fine, go you over die. There to see if there's anything. And there's nothing people can do to save you. Yeah, looks like Louie at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. Guys, if you drink uh, antifreeze, you'll die, and there's no cure. Like once you start digesting it, you'll die. The end. This is the brew and stew run by Louis Laments, nicest guy on Chandler. He let me run up a tab a time or two. Now it's a Mike and Ike Hammer Candy comic, The Sweet and Sour Lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. Abandon all hope, ye who enter this lot. 
This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, do you remember there was, um, speaking of drinking antifreeze, there was... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, do you remember that show that we used to watch, the Romney Shell wedding one? My, the gypsy wedding one? Oh, yeah. And then there was that was the name of the show. Stacy's not no, not Stacy's not saying that's the name of the show. This is the name of the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the girl, they the girl was saying that you could whiten your. No, don't do this, guys. One of yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the girls was saying that you could brush your teeth with bleach to whiten them, and like all over the television screen, they had like, don't actually do this. Do not do it. <laughs> don't, don't don't she's like you can just save all this money by just brushing your teeth with bleach and i was like oh, oh no ah. no one knows these back alleys of chandler quite like me no don't uh don't brush your teeth with that so we have to go to the top of the pawn shop that's where we were getting our picture taken no it was top of the electronic shop across the street behind you there ah it's an electronic shop now, but it once was a boarding house for some of San Francisco's most notorious smugglers and petty criminals. But we ha he said that we should go to uh, some place across the street. Um, pawn shop, or we should figure out what happened here. <gasps> oh, Whoa! it's it's oh danger, Will Robinson, danger! Look at he's look at he's the one that's drinking. Oh, so maybe it is. Sad to say, many robots and cyborgs end up down here. They get hooked on old Chihuahua motor oil. It is motor oil. They stumble down here looking for a fix until their lights fade out. This is the so robot from Lost in Space. It is? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it looks kind of similar. I mean, I, I'm not familiar enough to say. Go ahead. What are you going to say? It is actually motor oil. That's why the cans are so big. Anyway, don't drink motor oil. Anyways, don't drink motor oil or bleach or antifreeze or... Any of those things. etc. You know what? People are going to be like, um, you don't have to tell us. And I'm like, I remember being a teenager and talking to other teenagers. There was this thing called the choking game. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where teenagers would just choke each other until they passed out. And I was like... What? This is not a fun game. This is a bad game. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. <laughs> I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. And in case someone's being like, you're just giving teenagers hot tips on how to get high. I was like, none of these things are good ways to get high. Don't choke each other. <laughs> just like, yeah. steal alcohol. Don't steal alcohol from your parents' cabinet. But do the thing that's like actually going to like do something without killing you. Whatever that is, do that. Do your homework. Get high on life. I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone down a rabbit hole. I don't know what it is. What I don't know what I need to say to make you not make bad mistakes. Oh, everything's closed, so I guess we just gotta, like, go on to the uh, next area. Is there any... I want to go in our cool house. Okay. That... What? <laughs> yeah, you said I want to go in our cool house. This is our house. We just took our car to our house. To inside of our house. We used the warp pad. What's this? Is that a thing on the... Everything's closed. What's on the side of the... Knights Templar. Lord Protectors! Of the Avenue and Clubhouse. LARPers. Now what do we need to do? So we need to go to the top of the pawn house, or pawn shop? Or electronic I think shop? I, what, I, I, 